Hey boys, what's poppin' and bro here, and today we have a video on Fortnite error that started happening ever since the launch of Season 4 Chapter 5, and that is matchmaking error hashtag 1. Now when this error pops up, all that it is in the box is pretty much saying, oh, this is so weird, we can connect you to the match, and there is pretty much no explanation on how to fix it, which is why I'm making this video. Now I made this video in the past when I was trying to play cash cups with a friend, and we were constantly getting this, and couldn't get into the game and finish our placements. There are a few reasons this is happening. And in this video, I will show you how to fix it for both console and PC users, so none of you are wasting your time. Let's get right into it. Okay, so before we fully begin this video, I just want to announce a giveaway. Yes, I'll be doing a giveaway in one of the next videos this week or next week. Basically, the giveaway will be me giving out anything you guys want from the item shop in Fortnite on the day that you win the giveaway. Doesn't matter if it's a battle pass, a skin, pickaxe, glider, bundle, anything you guys want. But you can only select one item. So either one skin or one bundle or a battle pass, not multiple because I'm broke. But yeah, basically all you have to do to enter this giveaway is first of all, like this video, subscribe with the notification bell on, use my creator code Anver in the item shop and comment down below with your Epic Games name once you've done all the steps. Now when I'll be choosing a winner, whoever wins, I'll check out if they subscribed and liked the video and if they did, they'll get a reward. If they didn't do all the steps, well then I'll just choose another person. Good luck and let's get right into the video. So as I said, this happens for multiple reasons. Matchmaking error 1 can either be an issue on your client side or Epic Games server side. Now luckily there is a solution for both, first starting with your client side just to make sure that this is not us or our internet slash PC or a console causing the issue. So the first step would be a very very obvious one and I'm sure most of you have already done this but I need to include it in case some people didn't and it might even fix the error. Simply just restart Fortnite and Epic Games and the way you want to do that is uh, on the console you just simply want to quit fortnite completely and on the pc you want to turn off fortnite turning off epic games by right clicking on the taskbar task manager and shutting epic games completely off and it's going to be right here however if you have fewer details on which most of the people will it's going to be right here. You wanna right click on it and end task and it should be gone from your system tray completely. After that, go ahead and start Epic Games and then Fortnite. If you're on the PC and if you're on the console, simply start Fortnite. However, if that does not fix it, which as I said, most of you have probably done this already, but I'm including it for that 1% of people that have not, you can go ahead and restart your PC or a console completely. Keep in mind, these are just one of the fixes that are most likely not going to work, but it will definitely work for some that haven't tried. Okay, next step is for PC users only and for people that have Windows 10, although I will also include how to do this on macOS with the little screenshots after doing this on Windows. So this is Windows uh, 10, you can do this on Windows 11 and Windows 8, I believe. I don't think Windows 7 has the same commands, I'm not sure, but let's get right into it. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to the search button over here, or if you have a little search bar, type in CMD, which is a command prompt. After that, we wanna right click it and run it as an administrator. This little window will pop up, make sure it says system32 here instead of your uh, name. And after that, what you want to do is ipconfig, type that in, space, slash, flush, DNS. We want to press enter. If you see this message, then it means it's good. After that, what we want to do is type in ipconfig, again, slash, register, DNS. After that, we should get this message, registration of the DNS resource records for all adopters of this computer has been initiated. Any errors will be reported in the event viewer in 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and type in ipconfig slash release. And finally, after we're going to type in net sh space win sock reset enter. The reason why we're doing all of this is because our regular internet usage causes our computer to automatically cache IP addresses. So basically clearing or flushing this cache will refresh the data, getting rid of the outdated data that might be causing our connection issues with the Fortnite. So let's go ahead and reset our PC finally, and then we'll be connected back to our internet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I want to take some water and as you can see we are back reconnected to our internet keep in mind my internet is connected by the ethernet cable which goes from the router to the computer however if you're catching the wi-fi from your router make sure to go into the wi-fi settings over here and uh, choose your uh, router again your internet network whatever you want to call it and connect manually if it's not automatic uh, after doing this next big step for both pc and console users that will fix the issue 80 percent of the time if and only if 
the issue is client-sided, which we hope it's not, is simply to restart your router. There are two ways of doing this. The first way is you can reset your router if you're connected to it via the Ethernet cable. You can do it on your browser by typing in your IP. However, I really don't want to show this because you can mess up your settings and then you'll actually need someone to fix it. I can show you a much better way to do this. That's 10,000 times safer meaning it won't change any settings except just uh, simply restarting your internet and you do not need an internet cable for it or anything like that. All you want to do is close the game, close Epic Games if you're on the PC just like me, walk up to your internet router and on there there should be a reset or a restart button. However, if you cannot find it, that's okay. You can easily Google the name of your router and find where the button is located. After that, you won't have internet for about a minute or two and then internet will come back on. When the internet comes back on, launch Epic Games and Fortnite and that should be it. You should be able to get into the game just like I can. However, if the issue is server-sided, there's not much you can do about it other than trying to spam in and join and wait a bit. That's the only solution solution to that and the reason why the servers get overloaded is at the big events obviously just like fortnite season 4 launch or big cash cops doesn't matter what it is either way servers get overloaded with a bunch of people trying to get in at the same time and all you can do is wait if it's not that then it's another issue on epic Games side i mean that's as much as we can know but just to be sure you can go ahead and check it out on their website just type in like epic game server status in uh, google or something and just pretty much wait i'm not gonna cap and say there's a fake for that when you know it's all done. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. That's as much as we can do on our side for this error. If nothing like that works, then it's 99% of the times the fault on their end. But luckily, it's a big company, so you know they always end up fixing it pretty fast. Uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.